Welcome to Rock Talks. Today we are talking to Jean de la Bella, Sepultura drummer between 2006 and 2011, and current Ego Kill talent. He told us his whole story with Sepultura and what he thinks about his replacement, Eloy Casagrande. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. By the way, if you see a little advertisement at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the video, please do not skip it. By doing that, you're helping me a lot. Come on, guys. It's just a few seconds of your life, and it will really make a difference for me. I'm counting on all of you. Enjoy the interview. All right, let's talk about, uh, about your past with Sepultura. It's a really mm -hmm. interesting story. So my first question is, uh, were you nervous about being the first official replacement for Igor? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a different kind of nervous, you know, because it's such a huge responsibility, you know, to be on that spot after a guy like that, because he's such an iconic name uh drum wise you know like in the whole world you know because he created this style of playing so it's not it's not about um the difficulty of playing exactly the same notes mm -hmm. it's a lot more to like to fill that that gap or feel feel that space that he had brought so much to it you know like he developed this style of playing so I had to be there, be myself, but at the same time represent yeah. what he already has created for that band, you know. So you that, curious, right? Yeah, it's so it's such an important thing, you know, because I could have I could have just been there and just play whatever the song uh, uh, like. I could have just uh, played played right, you know, like I'm gonna play the same notes. But it's not about that, you know. It's about bring bringing an energy and uh, like deliver deliver that thing that Sepultura was and still is, you know. So uh, the the job is a it's a, it's a little more it, it's a little harder than you think, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, besides besides being uh, replacing someone that it's so iconic and so huge in the drum history. Besides that, there is the 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 um, the energy. Just the, yeah, yeah the, to, to, but it's not replacing it because there's no way to replace that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just being something else, but at the same time representing what he had in the past. You know, yeah. I so remember was, I remember you put your own spin to the songs, especially live. You did, yes. did play ex exactly the same, which is good no. at the same yeah. time, because if you're going to do that, let's just use a computer, right? A laptop. Exactly. Yes. You it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't a job of uh, replacing someone and just do exactly what he was doing. Right. Because that doesn't make any sense at all. And uh, but at the same time, it's not about me, you know, it's not about Jean. Now Jean is the player and he's going to play whatever he wants. No, of course not. So there's the respect for the music and being there to represent what that music needs you to represent, you know, like to put the right things on the its right place. But at the same time, there is my way of thinking and to express myself, you know, so it's like it's like having a conversation, you know, um, I'm, I'm gonna uh, even if we even if we want to say the same phrase so let's say you have like a text that you you're gonna read and I'm gonna read the same text if we're doing that even though it's the same text it's gonna sound different because it's yeah. you saying and it's me on this side saying the same thing but it's different you know People. so it's more on that side you know so I was playing pretty much the same structure the same ideas but the 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 whole thing that it was about representing that energy you know to bring bring that thing that sepultura needs to be that band you know and how did the fans react to your adding to the band 
back it in was, 06 for the Dante 24. Let me say, it was, it was, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was actually. Yeah. Because, like January, you know, 98. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, if you if you think about it, uh, metal is, is it, it the style, man. I mean, uh, the the fans, the metal fan, he's very like they're not they're not easy they're not an easy public, you know, to to reach <laughs> yeah. to. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the 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 guys on the band, there's there's such they are such like heroes, you know. They become like their heroes, you know. Uh, so, um, I thought it was going to be very hard, but actually it was, it was pretty, pretty okay. It, it wasn't that, that difficult, you know? So of course, I mean, in the very beginning, I, I was still, you know, um, uh, not feeling that comfortable, of course, because it was such a, a hard task to do, but after a few months, you know, we, we were playing a lot. So Sepultura is a band who tours a lot, you know, uh, yeah. it's a band who is always, always it, on the it, road. It, yeah, always on the road. So it was a lot of shows. So it, it, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't take a lot of time for us to be like to, to transform that thing in a, in a unity, you know, and sounds like a, and it sounds like a band, you know? So um, as soon as that became like, this you know like a uh, like a in unity then it was it was fine man it was always like good um people just saying good things and it was pretty pretty awesome actually mm -hmm. all right on in the sepultura documentary endurance you show yourself uh, kind of tired of touring and missing your family was that uh -huh. the only reason for quitting the band no of course not i mean that that was the uh most let me put it this way. That was the, the, the best part of the movie that, that, that when we, when we had that talk about it, because it was real, you know, we were actually talking about it. And, yeah. uh, Otavio, who, who was the, uh, the, uh, director, he was, he was taping and was just hiding, filming right? that. Yeah. He was hiding. So we didn't know he was there. So that was, that we was honest. Him. That, that was the band being real about the difficulties of being on the road and being away from our family. So that was, that was, ob uh, of course, it was real and it was a big part of it, of course. Yeah. But it's not only that, you know, there was a lot of uh, problems that with the uh, management and uh, a lot of things that weren't really good. So it felt, uh, it, 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 I waited until we got to a point that I couldn't, I just couldn't bury anymore, you know, so I had to quit, but, um, it was great, man. It was a great experience. It was awesome, uh, for the whole time I was there. And then of course, when I left the band, when I quit the band, it was a little difficult uh, on our relationship because it's not a good thing to, uh, to, you know, to end a relationship like that. It's not a, uh, a pleasant thing. So it yeah. took a little bit for us to, you know, uh, just, call each other and and now nowadays it's all great man i mean i've talked to them every now and then and uh eloy is a big friend and just a big friend and we always we're always talking and so it's it's all good now you know mm -hmm. and what do you think about eloy casagrande's drumming in sepultura ah, he's ridiculous man i mean eloy <laughs> he, he's he's one of the he's one of the 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 greatest i mean He's just great, man. I mean, he sounds great. He has such an enormous uh, feeling and force, you know? I mean, he delivers it so much. It's really it's, passionate, right? It's passionate. It's so good to see he, he's, when he's playing, you know? And uh, he's, he's a lovely person. Dude, I mean, I just wish all the best to him always because I think he's going to be even, I mean, he's becoming better and better. <laughs> every day you know yeah, uh, it's a yeah. uh, it's an un it's unfortunate that he had the accident which is sucks you know but i mean it's it shit happens but uh i'm sure he's gonna be back dude soon very soon he's a strong guy he's gonna be very ready and hitting the stage soon yeah yeah, yeah man I, 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 I i love his playing i love his drumming um uh, only good compliments 
for him. Yeah, and Sepultura got three of the best drummers in the world. So it's kind of like the luckiest band <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Right? <laughs> yes. So uh, what do you think about the Sepultura latest releases? You know, Quadra, Machine Messiah. I think it's, you know what? There's, there's this thing that I always say about Sepultura. Even, uh, even before I, I joined the band, Sepultura has this, uh, Sepultura is one of the most uh, ballsy bands that I know because, totally, dude, totally. They, they are there for the music and they're going to do whatever they want to do. And this is so cool because, I mean, if you hear the whole collection since Bestial Devastation, you know, and then you have Morbid Visions. Yeah, exactly. And then, dude, when you get to Schizophrenia, and then beneath the remains, it's such a different yeah. thing and a different shift. And then Chaos AD, man. All right. That, and, Chaos then, AD. and then, then Roots. Roots. Oh my it's God. Just ridiculous. I mean, yeah. every every time it's a different thing, a different punch, a different. I, I just love that because, I mean, uh, and I know that a lot of people kind of miss. Um, how can I say? It's like they miss a band that plays the same thing over and over because you get used to it and you get attached to it right it's yeah. just just like i don't know uh acdc if you hear the the last record you know it's acdc because they have such a huge personality it sounds great but they sound the same exactly it yeah. sound it sound just the way they always sounded yeah, and records. this is awesome it's 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 a choice you know i'm not saying yeah. that this is bad it's a choice but I really, really think that Sepultura is so ballsy, man, because they are always changing and they go like different directions and just change everything and just go for it because this is so cool. You know, I mean, it's 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 not easy to do that, man. I mean, to, you know, to uh, just go on a road that, you know, you, you have no idea where this is going to get to. You know, it's just it's really cool. I think this is very brave. You know, it's a brave, yeah. it's a brave band. You know? Every time Sepultura is about to release a new album, I'm really excited because I don't know what to expect for this. Exactly. New, new and album. I, I love that. Yeah, That's yeah. one of the things that I, I love the most about the band, man. It's, and especially yeah. uh, uh, with, for the Derek uh, era as well, you know, Nation, yes. uh, Gans, yes. Alex, yes. Kairos, now Machine Messiah. All different. Quadra, All it's different. like getting better and better and better and better. Yes. Time. It's yeah. crazy, man. It's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. All right. We are running out of time. So uh, do you believe that Alex was the album that took Sepultura to, to another level back in 09? The first with you as well on drums? Um, I think it was a very important record because the band was um, that was like establishing uh a new um how can i say this it's like a different yeah a different step because chapter yeah. yeah it's a new chapter because up until then they had they 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 um they had igor yeah they had igor and they have max and then replaced with derek and then eager when eager left that was very hard on the band because it was like dude what now you know i mean again another guy you know um uh, so I think that that was a, a very important moment to just establish this new, you know, like we're not going to stop. This is a band, a solid band, and we're going to just move forward, you know. So that was very important. And um, yeah, man, I think it was a very, very important record just to establish that thing back then, you know. Yeah. And then after that, just keep doing you know, because yeah. nobody really, people were, you know, just talking like, dude, I don't know if Sepultura is going to keep up, if they're going to, you know, because we, I mean, we in, in, inside the band, we were very like excited because we were like getting to know each other and playing a lot of shows and writing new music, music you know, so things were just developing. But from people outside, they were like, dude, I don't know if Jean is going to just replace Igor, do the tours and then Sepultura is over, or if they're going to continue, they didn't know, you know. So uh, that the Alex was a very important record, just to say, 
and establish that new, you know, that new uh, uh, page, you know, on, yeah. on Sepultura's history. I agree. And really aggressive, really uh, fast album as well. Uh, fans yeah. were expecting that from Sepultura. So, yes. uh, Jean, last question. We only got uh, less than two minutes. It's, the Zoom is about to close. Uh, did you regret leaving Sepultura at some point of your life? No, I, I don't have any regrets, man. I just leave. I just like, uh, I, I live my, my, my life on the, I try to be on the present, you know? And uh, so, no, I don't have any regrets. I'm, I'm grateful, actually. I feel really grateful for everything that I, you know, that I've been through with them. It was a, it was just great times, great shows, great records, and I love the guys. We're all friends, so yeah. But no, no regrets. It's all good, and things are in its place. Everything is on its right place now. Mm -hmm. You know. So maybe if they call you in, in case Eloy had another accident and you are and you are free, maybe you can drum for them again, right? Nobody knows, man. <laughs> Nobody knows. I mean, I have a lot of things to do uh, with Eagle Q talent, so I don't know if we could, you know, um, yeah. do both Find things at the same time. But, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Jan. This was great. Thank you, man. Thanks out, for having uh, me. This, this weekend, so I can I will send you the link so you can share it as well. Cool. Thank you Sim, so much, man. man. Thank Muito you. obrigado. Muito obrigado a você. Bye bye. bye bye. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.